it's time for Ink the Book Show with your host, Ryan O'Connor. And now, let's Ink the Book. Everyone, gather around. It's one of these guys. I'm going to be uh, working on Bonehead. I'm going to be coloring some Bonehead. Uh, I got to share my screen, though. Let's see. How do I share my screen? There it is. Hey, everybody. I got to situate the old uh, stream on top of... Photoshop so I can see everything at once. You dig? You dig. I know you dig. I know you. You are me. And we are all together. Um, let's get some noise on in here. Hey, everybody. It's me, Ryan O'Connor. I'm working on my uh, comic bonehead. I'm going to do some coloring. I think I said that already. I don't care. Get off my channel if you don't like my ridiculousness. But, you know what else I need? I need tea, but I'm at my desk where I have tea kettle. I think it's time to uh, get started. Uh, let me get one other thing up on the screen. Oh, you know what? There we go. Oh, I thought the display name would go on. Do you hear that kettle? Do you hear that kettle chirp? Sorry, I'm still trying to set up my my bonehead layout or my my Photoshop slash YouTube layout. I'm forgetting how I've done it because I haven't done this in a while. Okay. I think I'm good to go. So I can work and read comments if anybody makes comments. There we go. So this is page 39 of my comic Bonehead. This comic is over 250, no, about 250 pages. Hey, my good pal, Zach, the Zerquarian, who's doing um, gaming streams nowadays uh, over on Twitch. Uh, check him out. I'm not paying for Photoshop. Actually, I'm double paying for Photoshop. Isn't that lovely? Because when I tried to back out of some other uh, product deal, uh, the best I could do was downgrade to Photoshop. So now I'm paying for Photoshop twice. What, love? It's been a fortnight or two. How are you? I know. I... I I pay too much for everything. Before long, that hissing will stop and I'll have tea. Oh, no, I won't because I don't have my mug. What a bonehead. Who's the bonehead? This guy or me? You downloaded Krita a little while ago. Good substitute. Have you, have you done stuff like this? Any coloring on it? I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab my mom. Yeah. Okay. Before 
a million years happens, I will have started working. Okay, I think I finished this panel. When I got home from my job, uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to set up a stream, and uh, I'll get going. And I just saw the, the bonehead files open. Oh, for Pete's sake, this keeps like stretching it so I can't access my tools. Seems like uh, you said no coloring. I've just been making third-rate YouTube thumbnails. Okay. And it seems like a mix of Procreate and Photoshop. I haven't used Procreate. Let me see. I gotta keep adjusting my screen because... Uh, oh, what did I do now? I got rid of something. Hey, Photoshop. <laughs> Making me angry. Okay, let's see. Now I have access to the tools. Okay. That's all I need. Okay, so I got my brush. I got... Wow, that's it. Where is my layers? What did I do with everything? Layers. Huh? Oh, bother. iPad all the kids are using it um, well I want to be on my shadows layer which I think I am but then what happens when I want to be on a different layer how do I okay it's like catching up with me the music starting to sound like my brain feels um racing hole yeah what did i do i'm locking down my computer by doing something i don't know what I don't know what hole I made. Um, view window. View layers. Oh yeah. Nailed it. I'm king of Photoshop now. So I'm on my shadow layer. Got my brush. My brush is set to or the the shadow layer. It's set to multiply. It's set to opacity 38%. And got my brush with uh, this purple color over here. And that's what I'm using for my shadows. Yeah. You know what? We're going to sit in awkward silence because this music's kind of getting under my skin right now. Branding be damned. Uh, oh, for Pete's sake, I can't do it with the pen. Reliably. Uh, quiet, you go. Okay, eventually I'm going to start this thing. All right. <clears throat> For pouring my tea. How long of a buildup is this going to be? Huh? I have the mind of a dying child. Okay. Skate. side is going to be in shadow. So I did all the 
here. Let me go to my color layer. layer. I did all the flats for this already. This page already. Here I'm kind of cleaning this part of it up. I'm a nitpicky son of a gun sometimes. Um. Okay, back to shadows. Boom. Get that side of the buckle. I'll get that side of the skate. So when he's going to work in the morning, I just I decided I wanted to make the the scene a little more like interesting. And uh, like I didn't. First of all, I didn't want to do the same scene that's in the, the cartoon that I made where he's chasing the bus. Uh, and I was trying to think of some way to make him kind of interesting. And it might be a little poly Shore or something, but I decided to put him on skates, that he skates to work for this book. Get this side of his thumb. Same side of his fingers. And this isn't any special brush. This is like Photoshop, Photoshop out the box brush. Because I don't know how to mess with the brushes too deeply in Photoshop. And I'm fine with that. I wonder if I did that on the other panel. I don't think I really needed to, but like the light is casting the shadow of his leg onto that face of the skate. There we go. And then. Give him a little, like, uh, shadow on either side of that arm. Um, and I usually put a shadow under his boobs. Shadow under his tie. And I think, well, sometimes I do it under his, uh, his little collar to show it rising above his um, the rest of his shirt. We're sitting on top of the rest of his shirt. Okay, I did his head on this panel. Um, I'm probably going to do a big old shadow under this big old character. This is his landlord yelling at him. Bowdhead! Bowdhead! I need your rent! That's him in the cartoon. He wasn't going to be in this book at all, but I put him in for a few panels because I like him. Ratso, the landlord. I don't think he ever got named in the cartoon, but uh, his name is... Ratso. That's his big shadow. And then here I'm gonna zoom in. Treege. Um And I'm uh, so excited at how um, 
cool these pages look once I first once I throw some color down on them and then when I throw the shadow down it's like nobody's business here I'm gonna hide the shadow for a second I want you to look first of all so this was with all the coloring and the color holds on the the beep 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 for example there's a color hold on this little special effect there of him snatching the thing i added these um these aren't in the the line work the the pattern but that's the pattern on his bedroom wall in the cartoon and i i decided i, I wanted to keep it but um here i'll even hide the color for a second here for the most part anyway except for the color holds but here's the comic fine right well then you add the color it's so much more like a real thing it's bonkers to me it looks like something i would buy in a store that's such a great exciting feeling but then look at this bam oh look at that bonehead and it makes me feel so happy So, yeah, I just love how awesome those panels look to me. Um, it's totally something I would buy in a store personally. And uh, dang, I cannot wait to see this like as a book in my hand someday. That's wild to think about. So I don't expect anyone else to necessarily be uh, dying for a bonehead book, but uh, I, I, I certainly am. Not to toot my own horn, but toot, toot. <laughs> Shut up. Crumbs. Uh, bye bye. Fingies, fingies. All over the fingy place. A bit of shadow under his finger. And under this hand. Onto the clipboard. Uh, we're gonna get a bit of shadow under his belly button, inside his belly button. Um do this like roll of his shirt. Uh The underside of his pants. So this is like a cuff of his pants. I do that with my pants sometimes. I, I roll them up once. I fold them up once at the bottom. Like it's a sleeve cuff or something. I don't know. Do other people do that? I don't know. I think it makes jeans look nice. That's all. Ah, jeez. My, uh... Oh, I'm on a race. I thought it was lagging or something. My uh, roommates threw out to a tiki bar. I wonder, did... Uh... I gotta check. Because my roommate, Tyler, uh, 
sent a picture. Oh, I thought he wore the captain's hat and got him, but he didn't. I told him it would look nice. He's wearing like a Hawaiian shirt at this tiki bar. He bought it just for the occasion. And it's apt, but the captain's hat would way look awesome at a tiki bar. So if I ever go to a tiki bar, which I've never been, but is right up my alley, I'm going Hawaiian shirt, captain's hat, might even get a, a, a fake parrot to wear on my shoulder. Why a fake parrot? Because uh, parrot poop is gross. There's your inside scoop. Scoop on the poop. Let's see, I'm gonna get his tongue here. Ah, not that much. There's a tongue. Uh, all right. I'll do like there. His body's weight is sitting over his arm. I can do like that. Here's a streak. Okay, there we go. Um, this is gonna. Here, I'm gonna give him some. Because I didn't draw them in the ink on that panel. Streaks on his rat tail. Okay, now I want to get him in the, oh, let me get his booty. He's got a booty like a rat. Is that a song? It's probably a song. <laughs> so tomorrow, my sister's having an engagement party. Um, hooray. No, I'm excited. I'm gonna be hanging with my family. I'll pro uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to stream tomorrow or not. I probably will. Uh, in the early afternoon, no, yeah, probably like late morning. I, I intend to, but sometimes I'm bad about committing to stuff in the morning. That isn't my job. What are you talking about, Ryan? This is your job. You are comic streamy guy. This is job number one, Ryan. You think you can just go run off to a party without doing your job? How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Huh? I ought to bury you in a wall, or whatever that song's about. Um... Pow, pow, pow. Three in the back of the head. Ah, oh, jeez. That song about eating children? That doesn't sound right, but I feel like that was a conversation had between me and my dad when I was a little kid <laughs> that that song was about eating children. Or maybe the video is. 
the music video. I don't know. Brick in the Wall, I'm talking about. By Pink Floyd? Okay. How am I? How am I doing? How am I doing? I think that this one is done. Got it under the, the peephole that Bonehead could never reach. And the doorknob. That's good. Um, I'm going to throw a hint of a shadow under the little speed streak here. I don't want it actually on the color of the streak, though. So let me erase this little bit. I went over. Okay. And then we're on to the next. Did I hit something? I did. Cancel. I hit some button on my on my uh, tablet. I don't like this tablet very much, but my my big brontosaurus tablet, my big old ancient one that I've had for like fourteen years now. It's huge, and uh, I'm always having to go to this electronic place and have the port for the plug uh, soldered and fixed every so often like once every year or two and uh, I just didn't want to drop that money on it so I, I bought this dinky little tiny uh, Wac Wacom tablet Wacom tablet and um, that's what I've been using for a while now but I should really uh, get that other one fixed. Because this one, sometimes it's like when I've got a stream going and a bunch of programs open or something. You know, sometimes that, it, that'll that make stuff glitch, I guess. But sometimes it's just like all I'm doing is something in Photoshop. And I'm pretty sure it's just this pen glitching. Like, in a way that my other one never does. His, uh... Lips or cheeks or whatever, they're like... Little... I don't know. It's like a little bowl or something. His head would make a nice cup. Okay, I gotta do like a shadow underneath his teeth. Hang over his face. They're also hanging over this chin strap. Before I came on, um, I was just listening to the album Dude Ranch by Blink-182. I don't think this is what I want to do. It's so nice seeing the progress. Paper with ink and color says what, love? I know. It, it blows me away. I'm so... What I do, what I do, what I do. Uh, like... Um... Like to see, like some of these pages, like this one's fine, I guess, but some of the pages that I've done, it's like at the ink stage, I'm like, I don't know if this is even a good page. And uh, I'm like 
kind of self-conscious about it. I was like, you know, some, some of the pages I look at, I just don't feel like I did a good job. And then I look at them in color and, and, uh, I'm just like, no, it works. I like it now. Like maybe I can, uh, let me see if I can share a different screen for a sec. Hello. Here it is. Um, so I'll share this. So this is Manga Studio. Um, this is what uh, Clip Studio Paint used to be. I haven't I haven't made the switch. Um, so let me see. There's one page on here I didn't like when I inked it. It's this one. And it's one of my favorite pages. It's a big splash page. Uh, yes. Let's see, it's saving a different page, and then it'll open up this one. Wowee! So there's a siren going off in the background. Wee! Sir, come down from the tower immediately. If you do not follow orders at once, you will be imprisoned by order of the king of the planet Montana. He's climbing this tower after having bashed this robot. There's his partner, and these space police are calling up to him. And I did all these like little atmosphere lighting tricks with this page. And I really think it pops now, and I love it so much. Thank you. Um, now I gotta figure out how to switch that back to Photoshop. Ryan, you're like an 80 year old man. All right, um, and let me uh, scrunch this over. Can I do that? Can I do it? Instead of having this big old chunk of dead space on the screen. Oh, well. All right. Why is it selected? You select. panel over here Is that how I want his hand colored? Or uh, shadow? Ow, what that? Redo. 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 Okay, I don't know. I'm going to do a couple more redos. Redo. Redo. Oh, single. Yeah, what was I doing with single row marquee? 
It didn't look like anything was selected other than brush. Okay, I'll keep that and then I'll erase this hand. Because I think that shadow doesn't make sense. Compared to the way it was, So um, when my so a few weeks ago, I, I was invited by not exactly a stranger, but virtually a stranger to go to a quinceanera just to see what it was like. She was telling me like, oh, they go they go so above and beyond with their parties. It's so wonderful. They're so beautiful and amazing and blah, blah, blah. And she was telling me how great they were. And um so she's like, I just think everyone should go to one just to see how, what, like, what great parties they they are. And um, so she invited me to one. And when she sent me the invite, I was like, Oh no, I won't be able to go. Uh, I didn't I didn't tell her that at the time, but because you know I was like it was like a ways away. And I was like, she'll forget she even invited me. And I don't even know if I should show up at a stranger's quinceanera. You know what I mean? Just seemed like, but uh, anyway, so I, I, I knew I couldn't go though when I saw the date because uh, it was my roommate's wedding day. And, um, and let's see. Uh, when we were at the bachelor party, we were doing this laser tag thing. And I got a text from her, this lady reminding me like, hey, are you going to be able to come to that party tomorrow? And I was like, oh my gosh, I was surprised that she first of all remembered me, second of all reached out, but she even knew me by name. And I was just really like, surprised and impressed by that i don't think i don't think i'm a very memorable guy in most cases um in my day-to-day -day life so um so i told her i was like i'm actually um at a wedding tomorrow so i won't be able to go unfortunately but i i'm i thanked her for remembering me and uh, thanked her for inviting me again and uh and then I just saw her in person uh, again the other day. And I uh, I was thanking her again for inviting me because, and she's like, oh yeah, you can't miss your, your best friend's wedding and blah, blah, blah. But she's like, there'll be more. I'll invite you to the next one too. <laughs> If she does, I'll have to go, right? Like that, right? Okay. Excuse me. There's that. I think Bonehead's down there. 
Um, this door doesn't have a peephole. Should I add one? Every once in a while, I come across some mistake. What the? I clicked off of Photoshop. Let's see. Every once in a while, I come across some mistake I've made. Dang it. My clumsy hand, I'm trying to store. I'll leave it alone. Okay. Uh, click on the thing that I want you to click, you dang fool. Okay, so I'm gonna select pencil tool. When I when I add art, I'm always using the pencil tool. I go to a black color, okay, and my pencil is set at point at a six point. I almost said font, a six point font. And let me see. I think I'm gonna go smaller than that. I'll do like three. Get out of my face. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what I can't see is the chat in case any, just in case I'm missing anything. Okay. So. On. Oh, you know what? I'm on the the. So I have a an ink layer below my color layer, and I have one up top. So this is the copy. That's the one I want to be on. That's the one I, I see. And it's a little sluggish for some reason. The pencil tool is. Not just now. I feel like it always is when I use it in here. Maybe I should put it a little lower. And I use the pencil tool instead of the brush because it looks a little more pixely. Like this art when it's close up, it looks a little less smooth, a little more. I get it, I can get it to look a little more like my my natural hand. Sometimes I gotta batter up the line a little bit to make it look all clunky like that. And then a uh, little drop shadow underneath. I'm pretty sure it doesn't usually go this slow. I'm gonna erase it a smidge of it. Okay. I think that's good. Let's zoom out. What mistake? There you go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now where was I? I was on shadows. And then, actually, I want to be on color because I'm going to color the color of the people. And I want to go back to. From pencil to brush, fill that puppy in with some goldenrod or something. I don't know. Who's out there? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Who's out where? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is out there somewhere watching waiting, commiserating. All right, go to Blink-182 again. You're talking about the peephole. Just these murderous trolls.
right? And uh, who's in there? I don't know, some schmuck. And now he's skated away from his place. But nobody's in his place either. Uh, I was going to give him a... I was trying to think of how to make the beginning of this. Like, I wanted when he gets up in the morning. I wanted to make this scene kind, kind of interesting somehow. And originally, he had a pet lizard that he was going to feed. But I think it was making the scene too long or something. So I just put him in skates. And that was interesting enough. I gotta also go back into the artwork later and clean up some of this gunk. Like, he shouldn't have gunk on his teeth. Some of this other little stuff can go too. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know who any of his neighbors are, come to think of it. just texted me but it for once somebody at work texted me something good and happy i'm happy over here all right um i see a, okay let me go on the color layer i'm gonna clean this up That was looking gross. And then... Oh darn, I don't have my uh, shadow color picked. So it's tail, 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 tail. I'm gonna clean some of that up. Okay. That'll do for my liking. Who could it be now? Some kind of Australian guy with a wonky eye. I'll bet. See the shadow under those teeth too. Um at this close, this is looking kind of hacky to me. What say we? Um. 
My bum is on the cheese. My bum is on the cheese. And if I get lucky, I might get a disease. I don't exactly know why that just popped into my head. Something about this guy's gross tummy, I think. Put that song in my head. His exposed navel seemed very Tom Green to me, I guess. Okay, when he's way in the background, tiny, tiny. I think it looks so hacked. It's the white. It's the. It's the. How I did the shadow on the other one. The shadow's drawing back because the light. Out here, I guess. I don't know. I'm no light guy. I'm just phoning it in, trying to make a pretty picture, everybody. When art school was arting, I was doing some math or something, okay? No, school was, I was never interested in the, the task at hand in school. That was my problem. I'm just going to go all the way on this side of them. Okay. Um, and then this panel. Got this little like pen sharpened pencil nose. Which I think is that that's probably like a uh Sonic the Hedgehog thing. I feel like I see that on a lot of their characters. But I'm not very familiar with Sonic. All right. And then be like a shadow on this side of his face, his big old face. Um It's a face only a, a, a rodent mother could love. A, a trash dwelling mother. Bye, mother was a saint. Is that his voice? My mother was a saint.
She gave that cop she killed a proper burial and everything. Dang it. Every time I try to rough this into a place where I can see everything I need, it doesn't cooperate. All right, and then How am I supposed to buy a shirt that fits if I can't get your rent money? And if the building's dryers are all messed up all the time, washes are all messed up all the time. I should fix them, but I won't. And I'm upping the rent next month. Cause I'm a jerk. Rat tail. Rat tail, baby, rat tail. Rat tail, baby. That's how it goes. To the best of my recollection. Finished the new season of Clone High last night, and uh, I was getting—I was getting a little like really annoyed with that. I was on board at first for the first few episodes, and then I was getting annoyed with it. Um, and then I—it was the last two episodes of the new season last night that dropped, and uh, they were the best ones of the season, and. If you ask me. And 
I don't know. I, I just felt like the whole season didn't have enough of any of the clones. Oh, he he keeps Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's basketball in there. He's got... Um, his keys, his keys to all the apartments. Trying to cat lady croak in the middle of the night. Landlord stuff. You should see what's behind his eye patch. Pink eye. Somehow I've been triggering it to jump onto a different layer now and then lately. I don't know what I'm doing to do that. Uh, you know what? His eyebrow is kind of coming over his eye, right? So we'll do... It didn't carry it through. to his eyes well. Because you don't know us at all, we laugh and old people fall, but what would you expect with a conscience so small? That song popped in my head all of a sudden. Uh, that's one of the ones I did at uh, karaoke recently. With my brother Liam, he stood. He picked it, and as he was starting to do it, as it was like starting to come on, he's like, "Hey, you got to do this with me because uh, I can't do it by myself." Because it is multiple guys singing, and it, that was a, like a high energy song, man. I didn't even realize it. It was probably like fifteen years since I last sang it to, or sang along with it, or listened to it. Uh, but we killed it, man. It was a fun one to do. Fat Lip by Sum 41. 
I also did uh, Turn Into by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. I did some other things. I, I don't remember. I, I feel like I did a lot of songs, though. I did Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard by uh, Paul Simon. I always make up the whistling part, but it, it, it does the whistle on the karaoke version, but I always whistle some obnoxious other thing on top of it. And I might put his belly shadow over his pants. Nah, it doesn't look like it would make sense there. So this is the back of the doorknob. I think the shadows are done in this effects. The, oh, you know what this one needs, this page? They need some gradients over here. So I'm gonna go back to the color layer. And I don't like doing Bonehead's head that flat. I usually do like, okay, so I got my paint bucket. I'm just gonna change that to the gradient tool pick what I have on him here. So I've got like, oh wait, where's my so gradient? Click it up here, click this box, um, double click. We're gonna select the lighter end of his head. Okay, and on this end, we're gonna put the darker end of his head. And there's a bit of a gradient there, see it's lighter. Gets a little more peachy, like skin color, skin tone. White, white guy skin tone. Uh, then I'm going to take my magic wand tool. I'm going to select Bonehead's flesh. Here, I'm going to do contiguous. Select it again. I don't worry about his hands too much when I do this. Sometimes I'll throw them in there, but I don't really need to. Oh, darn. I gotta lower the, what do you call it? I gotta lower the, the tolerance there. So I'm gonna bring that to 10. It was including his teeth and I don't want that. I want his teeth to stay the way they are. Uh, so back to my gradient, drag it down. Now I think that might be too dark for his face. So I'm going to, here, I'm going to lighten this up. What the? Why was it that dark? Um, That looks right to me. And then magic wand, get this head, gradient, drag down. This head, gradient, drag down. This is just giving it a bit of life in his face. Um, it's not just a flat color. And what else? What else should I do that on? I'll do the 
doors. First of all, the doors jumping out at me. So I'm gonna. So I picked the color of the door for both ends. I'm gonna make one a little lighter. And then what the other end a little darker. And then do the same thing. Oh, probably that um, alarm clock, too. It kind of helps, helps these surfaces or objects look a little more, um, like a little more polished, a little less just... Uh, Fill in the color. I think I should do something with beep, 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 too. I also don't want it to look so like if you can see the gradient too specifically. I don't know how to put it. Like if, uh, if you can tell too much that it's a straight see like i can see that line there basically i don't i try to avoid that especially if it's going across like his finger to this doorknob but that would look ugly if i if it looked like it connected those dots or something even subtly okay and then yeah i think i'm gonna do beep 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 so let's see, beep. Okay, it's got them all. And then, so I'm gonna select that color. Color, color, color. I think I'm gonna go, like, start it from like a yellowish, let's see, to that color. And maybe I'll go a little darker with that color. I'm going to be bold today. Um, not that bold. Not in my life. Um, bring that down a bit. I'm going to bring that back up a bit. My bigger eyes than my stomach, you know. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Now I'm not sure how I feel about this orange. It's getting there, but I think I like that better. Let's see. Can you select? Yeah, if it gets too dark, I feel like it's um, it's too solid, too on the page, where it's supposed to just look like a special effect, kind of floating in the in the world. Like it doesn't have substance to it. That's why I usually do like a, a color hold on the outline of like all these effects to, to kind of set it, to subdue it so it's not as present as like this table, you know? Okay. I think that's a good place to start and I'll go lighter from there. Okay. And then I still have Zach's belly button comment up. Um, gradient. No, I want to select. Here, I'll do non-contiguous. So it selects them all at once. So I think that's the only time I use that color on the page. Okay. 
So if you do contiguous, when you have this, uh, the magic wand, if you have uh, contiguous checked, it'll just do that field of that color wherever you've used it. But like, it won't touch this one because it's separated from this chunk of that color, this instance of this color. And this one are separate. That one's separate. That one's separate. This hand is separate from that. This hand. So that's so contiguous. I'll just select whatever one you whatever part you select. Um, you could always do uh, what shift and select a second part. Like so, I'll do contiguous, right? Uh, select. Oh, but now he's a gradient, so it's gonna. So I'll do. Perfect example. So when he's a gradient, it breaks it up into different colors. Um, if I had the tolerance set higher, it might select all of it, but it would probably also select his teeth. But um, so I'm say I want it to select the rest of his face. So I'm going to hit shift and just hit the next part. And it basically considers his face like four grades of yellow at tolerance 10 there. Um, and then if I want to select this other guy, now his head is gradient two. So it's going to be the same game. Okay. And then I want his hands, let's say, you know, or if I want to select this wall slash carpet, um, but then I want to select this wall as well. There we go. Okay. So I was trying to do something to slam here. It's a little gradienty, right? I think it's I think it's probably fine. I don't know. Let's let's push it a little. Let's give it a shove. Um, yeah, I like that. And do a bit to this tree and I could just do this forever. How long have I been uh, streaming? I went away from the... So an hour and a half almost. I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit. I'll do a little bit more and then I'll wrap it up. Um, I'm just going to do... What was I going to do? Oh yeah, the tree. So there's that. And gradient. Gradient. Party time. Excellent. Did that sound like a guitar? I hope it sounded like a guitar or I'm fired. Dominami. It has been a long time. I haven't had too many people in my chat. Well, I, you know. I haven't been streaming so much lately, so that's a big part of it. Let's see. How have you been? Okay, so... There we go. And then let's do something to red. So here, um, cool. That selected most of them. I'll do the shift, select his belly, and then. That and 
that again and this I'll go a little lighter and this I'll go a little darker I might go a little darker than that even it's kind of a grayish brown Puts a little oomph in them. Um, yeah, dude, a lot of progress. This is page 39. Just about 39 pages done. And like I've got them lettered and everything. It's exciting to see it getting made. Uh, let's see. I'm going to select. There's he. His arm, his belly, his other arm. And then. Let's see. How do I want to. I think I'm leaning toward that. There's no one where to drag it sometimes. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there, she. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there, she. I'll leave it there, she. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I think my brain melted. Um, I'm not doing this. <laughs> he looks so dark and angry. Um, here's something I think I'm going to do. Uh, and then I'll do this one and I'll wrap it up. I'll call it done for the, for now. So, boom. I, I guess I don't need to click the picture. I can just do solid white. Um, so I think I'm going to do like this color actually on this end. But I'm going to make it a little lighter. So when we select the white, What I want to do. Is that it? Almost, but no almost. Oh, you know what else? You know what I think? I will do that. And I'm going to select the, on the color hold layer where I colored all these lines. Um, I'm going to select that. I'm going to do a gradient on this as well. So, oh, I don't have it selected like I think I do. Okay, there's that line and that line. Okay, there we go. Gradient. So, I'm gonna pick this blue color of the line for both. But this time, I'm going to go, I'm going to mess with the, these black boxes up top. This time, I'm going to drop the opacity down to nothing on this end, 100% on this end. See? What the? So this one, nothing. There we go. 
this one, 100%. I keep messing with it. I'm trying to like show it back and forth. And... Okay, but you get the idea. Oh, you're dipping for food? See ya. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm about to end it anyway. So see you next time. But good to see ya, Dominami, and what love? And the Zerquarian who's streaming video games on um on Twitch, also under the Z the Zerquarian, Z H E R Q U A R I A N. And I've been putting a link to his streaming channel in my in the descriptions of my YouTube videos and my, my Twitch streams. Um, so you can find me there. Why do I keep messing this up? See you, Dominami. I'm usually in the, the chat of his streams whenever I can be. Hey, did I mess it up again? No. Let me do a partly, a partly um, ghosted line. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it look like the the whole thing is fading out. Um. I know I can do it. You know what? I, you know what I can probably do. If that's not going to work. Oh no, problemo! I'm excited that somebody else I know is doing streams now. Let's see. I can do like a brush if the gradient stuff is getting too technical for me. Uh, right? What am I doing? You're pretending you know stuff, Ryan. You're a ding dong. Yeah, I might not be able to figure this out right now. Because <laughs> I'm one of them broken brain kids. I went to art school. I don't know what I'm doing. This is all this is all a scam. I gotta go. <laughs> now it's time to end the stream, I think. But uh I'll either hop on for a bit tomorrow to uh continue this page or do something else. And uh then I'll be off to my sister's not bachelorette party, what do you call it? Engagement party. So, but for now, I'm saying toodle. Things. My bad, I'm clicking all the wrong things. Um, but for now, I'm saying toodaloo. Goodbye, everybody. What a train wreck me broadcasting can be. Goodbye. I love you. Click the links in the description. Uh, there's... A bunch of goodies there for you. Goodbye. I love you.